But my question to you is, is this. Can you live? Can you live without social media? Mm. Can you just get rid of it? Is it to the point to where you can just say, man, I'm so sick of it, bro. I am hate it. I hate it. I'm done with it. Mm. Behind the mask. Dude, what up, bro? What's good, family? Another day in paradise. You know what it is. I know it, man. It is, man. And uh, thought like this right here really wasn't even supposed to happen right now. But the conversation got so good before we got on camera, I, we was like, stop it. Because we got to give the people what they want. Facts, facts, facts. And it really started with the story. Me just telling you, like, sometimes I get sick of social media. I'm talking about sick of it. And you asked me why. And yeah. I told you the reason why I get sick of social media is because this one incident that I had. And I just saw how it was a total spinoff, everything after that. But let me tell you about the incident. With the incident, I happened to meet this young lady online. And I was like, man. Like, like bro, she was like Krispy Kreme donut glaze <laughs> skin just looked immaculate. Just perfect. Outcast prototype. Prototype. So I'm just like, all right, cool. So me and her, we we chop it up. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, filter can't cover up that much. I, <laughs> I kind of thought a little, little bit, but I wasn't sure. All right, long story short, this is like when they first came out with me. Yeah. So go to the restaurant, I'm there early. I'm like, all right, I cannot wait until this money get in here. She show up, and I'm like, man, I did it. Mm -hmm. Boy, when she got she got close by me in the lights, and that little light was hanging down. It was almost like a record had scratched. My face went from <laughs> I was, bruh, I was hurt. What happened? She filterized me. She filterized you. Whole, yes. Whole catfish. I can't really call it catfish just because she was the person who I she was the person who I thought she was. That's exactly what she was. You ain't checked them angles. That's what happened. Well, that's me. Well, I probably should have consulted with you. So <laughs> it, it brings me to the question. Oh man, rough night, and yeah. I'm, I'm this. That, I, it was hard for me to get through that one. But my question to you is: Is this? Can you live? Can you live without social media? Mm. Can you just get rid of it? Is it to the point to where you can just say, man, I'm so sick of it, bro. I am hate it. I hate it. I'm done with it. Mm. I think in today's age, bro, nah. Like, it's, it's, it's a necessary evil to everything we do. It's part of our fiber, part of our fil filter, part of everything that we do in life. You know what I'm saying? Part of our fiber, like, business-wise, philanthropy, socially, Everything is tied, intertwined to social media. I know you do a good job of, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you don't just roll over, check your phone, and all of that. But there's a lot of people in this world, when they get up, one of the things that they got to do is checking on social media to see, not necessarily what they miss, but what's on the horizon or what's to come. You know what I mean? I think even with us, with BTM, we we need social media to, to stay involved in the loop, relevant of what's going on. Right. You know what I mean? Make sure we catching all these trends and everything. I love the Explore page. But listen, that Explore page I got love me explore. though. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll I be on the Explore page, you know what I'm saying? You, I ain't gonna lie, man. You, sometimes, you, you know, you go in the bathroom or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Bring your phone in the bathroom and you're on the Explore page. You might be in there sitting so long, you're damn lazy or fall asleep. Yeah, no. sleep in, yeah, you know what I mean? But it's honestly though, like, I think. With the way the world is today, I know we didn't grow up that way because when we came up, there was no documenting everything. The only time you really took your camera or your camcorder out was special occasions. Right. Birthdays, vacations, you know what I mean? Things like that. We didn't, every club we go to, pull out the phone and record everything. That, that just wasn't how we was, you know, wired. But I think today, today's uh, day and time, the way we living right now, is a must, man. And you got to stay connected. I know you hate it. 
I know you hate it, but you love it too, yo. You hate the fact you love it. That's what it is. That's what it is. Because you I just about have t- no <laughs> discipline at <laughs> all. <laughs> you hate the fact you love it, man. You don't think you can get off it? Like like cold turkey, just stop, drop, and roll, let it go? I, I, I hate it. Like, I love it. It's a love-hate relationship. And when I look at it overall, bro, it's like it really boils down to the gift and the curse. Mm of social media. Mm-hmm. And like, the reason why I hate it is because it's addictive yeah. and it's so unhealthy, man, for the majority of the time. And anything in life that's addicted, if you're addicted to it, guess what? It ain't good, it ain't for, good you, for you, period. You drink too much water, you know what happens? You bloat it. No, you are drown. You see <laughs> what I'm saying? I think, man, you know what? But even with addiction, though, I think it's responsibility, right? So I tell my kids all the time, now with social media and being attached and handcuffed to that phone, the thing is you can get pressured by the the likes or the inclusion, you know what I'm saying, wanting to be a certain thing or seeing the way other people live and wanting to be like them. But it's simple, bro. Put the phone down. And that's what I tell the kids. I'm like, yo, anytime you feel like the pressure's too much, it's building too much, um the peer pressure, anything, it's not who you are. Like, you have to justify your living, your being with somebody else, or you you, you want to explore page for hours, you know what I'm saying? Sharing it was the, a great morning. Sharing the DMs yeah. back and forth and stuff. It's like, nah, man, you, you know what? Just put the phone down, man. Get back to reality. Because, again, that's that's social media. They ain't got to be a reality. So I think, I, like, nah, man, I, I need it. And for me, I think the things that are either addictive or the things that, Lead me down the wrong path, like yo, I just I cast it to the side. You know what I'm saying? If it's somebody like for me, I don't even follow my own lady on social media. I don't need it. I don't need it. You know, I know she bad. I know she bad as fuck. I don't need to have twenty, thirty thousand other people sitting there. It ain't about sharing what you my need, sharing though. my sentiments, knowing that. So I'm like, nah, y'all got it. That's your page. That's your page. It's just it's it bothers you because you don't want no. it. No, 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 it don't bother me. I just know my inner chi. I know my my psyche. I know my my feng shui. That, you know so, what I'm saying? You know the shirt, how the shirt got the nice that's the feng glow? Shui. It's the feng shui. So you know what I'm saying? I I know what that is. So for me, nah, if I don't want to be bothered with that and I don't want that that energy around me, I just ignore it, bro. And I think that's what you gotta do. That's the problem, man. You do a lot of meditating this stuff, you know what I'm saying? You you're real spiritual and everything with your walk. I think what you gotta do, you gotta find fight that addiction. Just like I fought the addiction of Magic City, you gotta fight the social media addiction. That's the problem, bro. Listen, let's, man, let's get into that. It's 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 a it's a huge waste of time. And <laughs> and <laughs> I'm working on myself. I am. <laughs> but let me tell you why it's like it's such a waste of time, bro. I remember, man, I woke up one morning. No lie. To your point. I woke up at 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. And I typically wake up a little early. I remember picking up the phone. This is what changed it. Picked it up. This is, by the way, the same person, Mm -hmm. the same chick I met. I met around about like Mm eight-something. But I was on the phone that long. Seven (laughs) seven o'clock. I remember, no lie, at 9.59, that little screen came on my phone saying, oh, you at 20% Mm. after it charged all night. And I was like... I could not believe, I felt so bad. I was like, you've been on this phone just looking at just foolishness the whole two and a half hours. So a waste of time, big waste of time, dog. And then I think the other part of it is this is what people fail to realize. We pick it up from time to time and you was like, oh, you could just put it down. But the problem is, is this. People don't have the discipline, Mm. that internal focus to be able to say, I'm going to just pick it up. Let me look at it for like a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes easily turn into 15 to 20. I was surprised to see a study that recently came out that most people in a 12-hour functionable working day, they spend at least two hours out of the day on the phone yeah. dealing with apps. That's what it's for, though. It's new times. What you going to do? 
pick up the, 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 the house phone, go to a pay phone, fax somebody, you know what I'm saying? Go to your computer, do an email, pull out MapQuest and go to navigation to tell you how to get from here to wherever you're working out at. Nah, it's a different day and age, bro. All you right, need then. that phone. All right, then. So you got to get out the past. What you got to do, man? No, listen, but what you got to say about the people who got self-esteem issues? Like, they, they wake up in the morning and, listen, they listen, I get my charge from watching certain guys. Inky Johnson, he's one of my favorites. Eric mm -hmm. Thomas, already. Certain guys just inspire me. But certain people get on it, and then if they already got self-esteem issues, it's like, damn. Yeah. It, it can bring you in. It can draw you in. It can definitely draw you in. I think for the people that... And I'm not no expert. I know there's a lot of social media experts out there. But then it's just, of... it brings on <laughs> depression after that. It can. It definitely can. Because, you again, you're, you're looking outward for something to, you know, assist you or help you with what you got going on inside. And I think that's the thing. And, and to, you know, what you're saying, like I said, I tell my kids, don't look for validation. Don't seek validation from someone outside of yourself. Like, nah. You you know, I tell my, my daughters every morning they wake up, you beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You beautiful. You beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. You know what I mean? <laughs> but not. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, so you got to, I guess, drive those drive those points home. You know what I'm saying? When you're talking about others. And then to yourself, have that, that mindset that, nah, I don't need someone else to validate me. And and I think that's, that's to me, that's to me the, the, the key. Like, you know. But you, everybody you don't, you don't, didn't grow up like you, though. You're right. You know what I'm saying? I, we, like, but every, we, didn't, we didn't grow up in that era. And I, I, I guess I'm, I'm going back to the kids because they did grow up in that era. Yeah. So they're used to the likes. They're used to feeling, you know, validated or feeling like, okay, if I don't get enough comments on this particular post, then then I'm going to delete it. If I don't get the response I want, I'm going to delete it. Nah, that ain't real life. And I think I think you really got to take a look inside and be like, yo, what is this really about? Because social media ain't it, in my opinion. But I have no problem with it because, again, we need it. Yeah, we we you connect with so many people. Think about all the people that you connected with over the years that you would have never remembered, or you'd have never been like, "Oh, damn, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we had this moment. We had that." You, you know, know what, what I'm saying? You're Off right of social about media, that, because you know I mean? remember MySpace. I think that was the first one. <laughs> yeah, it was. MySpace was the funny story. Hey, you was on MySpace, though, right? No, I wasn't on MySpace. You're I'm gonna tell, tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell, don't you do I that? On, I wasn't don't on do my, that in here. I fought social no media for a while. No lies in the lounge. No lies in the lounge. Yo, no lies in the lounge. True friend. I wasn't on social media on my account, but my brother Ray had an account and I had his password, so I used to get his account and go on his MySpace page and then kind of like, you know, peruse a little bit. But the funny thing about MySpace, man, I think the first time I was introduced to that and we showing our age, I think it was 06, we was with the Bills. Yeah. And then um, we had the lounge, the computers <laughs> in the lounge, right? So at the time, I'm, I'm getting ready to go on uh, my honeymoon with my ex-wife. You know, we I'm searching for different Hold places on, to go. Hold on, you on MySpace? But you getting ready to no, go no, on a no, honeymoon. No. Let me finish the story. You kind of right, intertwine right, the ahead. whole thing. You, you know? try to throw me under the bus <laughs> on the BTM podcast. We're not doing that. I said, the first time I was introduced, don't let this dude do this. So look, so I'm on the computer looking up spots that I'm going to go. My sister's like, yo, you might like Monaco. You might like San Pay, all of that. You know, so I'm like, I bet. Yo, let's do that. Let's run with it. You know what I mean? Jay-Z came out with the Show Me What You Got video a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, this is, this is it, right? So... I'm looking up uh, Monaco, the hotels, the course of the hotels and everything, about to book it. And then Willis McGee, he came, comes up to me and, and the computer next to me. He's like, yo, big dog, what you doing? I said, man, just looking up some stuff, looking up rooms in Monaco. He's like, oh, that's what's up, I've been there. I was like, where have you been there before? He's like, yeah, 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 I've been there. I said, that's dope. I said, what is it like? He's like, man, it's dope, because after you, you, know, you go to the hotel, then you just go on the strip and you got the Luxor, you got MGM, all this stuff. I'm like, Monaco? I said, what are you talking about? He said, Luxor. He said, you talking about Hotel Monaco in Vegas? I said, nah, bro. I'm talking about Monaco, <laughs> yo. South of France, man. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, homie? That, that ain't who we talking about. So, Come on, like Willis. That. Come on, bro. So, hey, Will, you remember that story. So, so then I looked at his computer to see what he was doing. I said, what's that? He said, yo, I'm on MySpace. I'm like, what's MySpace? He's like, bro, you don't know about MySpace? I'm like, nah, what's that? He said, all the girls is on MySpace, yo. I said, what you mean? He said, they all live. And because... You're of status, right? They gonna holler at you, and I guess you put them in your top. I think it was like top eight back then or something like that. Yep. And then they holler at you if you're in the top eight, and they like you know, 
I said, so y'all don't go out there and bag the women? Y'all don't go out there and actually talk and, and meet them and convert, converse with them and everything? He's like, nah, bro, new day and age. What we do is just social media, MySpace, top eight, get them. I was like, bro, <laughs> this is crazy. He said a whole new, whole new dynamic in a way that people interact and communicate. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, for me... I don't have no problem with it nowadays. Like it, it is, it is what it is. It's, it's part of the. I always say it's part of the lifestyle. And then what, what you gonna do? Not have it. The only person that I know yeah. in our crew that's around us that doesn't have social media Who? is somebody that been on the BTM podcast. Charles, Charles Barkley. Barkley. That's the only person I know that, and he's still doing his thing, still relevant. You know what I'm saying? From generation to generation, and people love him. But again, it ain't for everybody. And I think you want to know people that uh, it ain't for, but I want to talk about you, you kept alluding to it. You know what I'm saying? You using it damn near as a date nap because you just say you met some lady on there and all of that. That's what you do with social media, bro. Listen, I, I'm gonna be real. Like, look, <coughs> every app that you get on, see, people want to be like, oh, he's on dating apps. No, every app that you get on is a dating app. If you got an opportunity, if you like the what you see on there and you trying to holler at it. Mm -hmm. It's a dating app. Going in DMs? What you think that is? A dating move. All right. I guess. So I don't have a problem with it. I don't at all. I actually kind of like it, though. I kind of like it. So so you on dating apps? That's what you're telling the, the audience, the BTM audience? Is that, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not on dating apps. I'm not. <laughs> okay. We got searches of uh, profile TK. <laughs> I am, but you know what? No, 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 no. You, you got, a swipe left, swipe yeah, right. Yeah, you probably will see that on the dating apps, though. You will see it, because everybody takes my name. Oh, That's the oh, reason ah, why my tag ah, name is Takeo Spikes ah, 51. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's a, that's a... Hey, this is the one I made on the dating app. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? Nah, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, say. So how so how does that work? Like I've I've never I've seen friends. I got I got friends that have been on them and you know do the whole swipe left, swipe right, male and female, men and women, and some of them swear by it, some of them hate it, and I'm like, you don't have the opportunity to actually meet somebody, feel their energy because everybody's putting up their representative. They're not going behind a mask because you wanna. You on your thumbs, you texting. It's, it's a safe space, right? Right. You can't say nothing bad because if you do, all you got to do is put laugh out loud or ha 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 or some laughing emojis, and that takes away all the, you know what I'm saying? The, From a the, dating app. Yo, if you, I'm assuming it's, it's to me, it seems like it's similar to texting, right? You get a picture, you get a profile, you say what the hell you want on the profile. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so it ain't no different. You know, you know the best way to explain it. The app that I was on, it wasn't necessarily a dating app. It was a, used as a dating app to meet people, mm -hmm. but it was also a co-working space, too. And you can clearly put your name up to say what you're there for. Like Facebook? Well, Facebook is, no, no. <laughs> but my point is, is, oh, it ain't no different than us going hollering in somebody's DMs. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you what I was shocked to find out. This is crazy now. The amount of people who are just, like, who are just on social media, mm -hmm. it's, bro, it's, this study said that out of 4.65 billion social media users around the world, no, out of all of the people in the world, 9 billion people. 58% of the global population was on social media mm. at 4.6 billion. So, you know, people want to act like, hey, no, I don't do this and that. Where do you think they getting these numbers from? But you part of the people. So how you going to be on social media, but you but you I'm saying you we don't all like, are. But you but you you don't like social media. I don't like but it. But you find your way on a dating app, which is similar that's, to social that's media. That's entertainment. That's <laughs> entertainment, too, Tom. Don't do that in here now. No, I'm just no lies in the lounge. No lies in the lounge. I'm just saying, yo. So tell me about this. So how does that work? So you, you see somebody that you're interested in. You either like them or you, you swipe left, swipe right, or you, you know, is the, are there layers to it? Then you go into DMs from the public. 
space and you know. All right, let me give you this story, this example. I give you this. So I was on this app, mm -hmm. and I'm not about to give them credit because they chose not to sponsor the show, but maybe another day. Yeah. Anyway, so I saw this young lady. She hit me on it. She was like, all right, boom. Oh, she like, hit you first, huh? Well, I guess I don't know how. To, this, this was like still, I'm in my infantry stages of checking this thing out. Okay, cool. So now she hit me. I was like, dang, she ought to look good. But let me just see it, you know. So you hit it, you know, let the little thing, let it play. And I was like, man, it's just, I don't know. She, I, I just see something. Mm. Boop. Let me hit like right there. <laughs> I hit like. So you remember I was telling the story earlier about, you know, Shawty kind of catfished me with she had that filter on. Mm -hmm. So I listen, I said, you ain't going to get me again. So I don't <laughs> went through all of the pictures. I don't went through the whole gram, everything. <laughs> checked out to everything. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and shoot the shot. The thing what I really appreciated about it most is a thought just came to my head. If I was in Texas or in the state of Illinois, I wouldn't have to worry about filters because they, they do have a, it's a ban. You can't even use a filter if mm. you're in those two states. Mm -hmm. But going back to the story, though, I just thought about that. <laughs> but going back to the story, bro, like what made it so cool was like, it ain't no, you ain't beating around the bush. Right. You, you getting right up in there. <laughs> All up in there. And you saying exactly what you want, what your interests are. And I was just like, man, I, it's beautiful. Mm. Because you ain't got to go through all of this fluff. And so, you know, from that time period, totally went different. I actually went out with her and, and, and like, you know, it, it was outstanding. Mm. It really was. So you enjoyed it? You enjoyed the experience and everything? Yeah, yeah. I, I truly enjoyed it. So how you enjoy the experience of a dating app, but you don't enjoy this experience of social media? It's the same damn thing, Takio. It wasn't a it? dating app. It was used partially as a dating that app. That social media is clumped all into one. It's the same thing, bro. How do y'all agree with me? How do you not see that? I enjoyed it. Oh, you know, it was so beautiful. It made me feel good stuff. from a constructive standpoint. Okay. So were you on it? Four, five, 30, 45 minutes? But but before you found that person? Nah. It was just straight up? It just it was straight because you only can see so many at one time. So they know what you like. It was just, you know, you gotta pay to see more. <laughs> Me, my chief ass. I was oh, like, I ain't hey, giving y'all, uh, I ain't giving y'all no money. I'm gonna wait until my time period. Bring me another new set of five. Mm. You had to subscribe. Yeah, you did. Till you can't <laughs> be there! What are you doing? I'm just saying, it, it's multiple apps that you actually have to have a subscription yeah, and it's, pay it's, to see more. Yeah, it, no, it ain't like that now. I'm just saying. No, 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 but it's it's, it's quality uh, quality chaos. So, all right, and and I think for me, like this is this is my thing. It's all well and good when it works when it works out. I'm gonna say when it works out, not if it works out. But how many people out there, like our our people in our family that are older, right? That may not want to go out and hang out anymore and and uh actually choose to go the route of dating apps. They don't got time to waste dealing with that. And it don't with the work. Dating app? And it don't work. Man, that's the fastest way you can find something. I guess, man. I just never I never been into it like that. You know what I'm saying? So I guess this is the the flip side. Like I'm into social media, you know what I mean? I'm 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 all for it. But dating apps, I just can't get with. Like for me, I'm like, if you respectfully, if you're anybody that you feel good about yourself and you feel good about what you're representing and presenting yeah. to somebody else and somebody else would want that, for me, I don't I just don't think that it needs to be, and no shade to you, it needs to be communicated through an app. I think you can actually go out and meet somebody and then well, you find that real at. person. You you the same person sat up here earlier talking about the purity of social media. It gives you an opportunity to meet people who you never thought you would have met. <laughs> and then you finna sit over here and just... But I'm just... I'm, 
and crucify the same statement. You're I'm contradicting s- yourself two times. What I'm saying is that you have an opportunity. You can go out. We can go out anywhere, particularly in Atlanta. You can go to Atlanta. You can go to the, the, the Walmart. You can go to happy hour somewhere. You can go anywhere and actually meet somebody that's attractive. And well, then, you know and what? Then continue sometimes for- you just don't feel like it. So sometimes you just want to get on your phone and then go through and... Like, like prime example. I got food upstairs in the kitchen. You didn't want it. What did you do? <laughs> Ty. Lundy <laughs> Pooh. What you want, baby? <laughs> we gonna get some fast food. Some, we want fast food and we want fast result. Because when you go to them places you talking about, Chances are, they ain't gonna be hitting on nothing, and then, and then they all they ain't no telling what gonna happen. But at least you know you got a fresh start. You ain't got to deal with all the extra conversation. But it's they, sin. That's they, what it sounds pe- like. People on people on social media can have a mask too, and the dating apps they can put up a mask. I mean, it's just not because you're on one uh, platform or the other that that mask just automatically comes off. It comes off over time, right? Yeah. So how do you know what you're going after is actually what you're seeing or what somebody else is presenting? Well, you know what? It's just, it's the same thing as we complain about, well, the government needs to do this. Well, Congress needs to do this. We can complain all we want to from a different stadium. But if you don't get a seat at the table... Or a seat inside of that stadium, stadium, you can't make change. Mm. And it's the same difference. Okay. Because at least you know, you you go out to the club, the percentages may be in your favor, maybe five to ten. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about like if you really like, like, I don't know, you know, if you're looking depending on what you're looking for. Right. For the regular dude. <laughs> but you ain't the regular I ain't dude. The regular du- but I'm, are we talking about majority because everybody is, you know, I, I get it. They ain't me. Yeah, and I think that's the that's the the thing also because we get a lot of people on on the YouTube side or you know on our, on our social media that say, okay, it's different, or you guys were living in this particular lifestyle, so it's different for your average everyday nine to five or your average person that you know does whatever they do in their respective field. That's not a celebrity or, or, or professional athlete. So it may be different when they look at the profile pitch and, and they see a tequila spice. You know what I'm saying? It may be different in terms of what that attraction is or could be. Again, you said this particular dating app, you know why you're there. Yeah. Social media is just all encompassing, so everybody's there for various reasons. Right. You know what I mean? It could it could be this, it could be that, it could be personal, it could be business, it could be somebody going for money. You know what I'm saying? Somebody putting up their cash app, trying to get some bread. It could be whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I think all in context, like, it's a necessary evil again. Mm-hmm. Because the way the world is going. Again, what I said, chances are there are people in your life that you wouldn't have reconnected with or you never would have met had you not picked up that phone and went on social media. <laughs> chances are there's somebody in your life that you would have never met or connected with had you not been on that dating app. It's the same damn thing to Keo, you need it. Come over to the dark side and just admit it. You see the glow? You see the aura? That's that feng shui? That feng shui. Feng shui. Feng shui. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Good thing I came dressed for date night. You going on a date after this, bro? That's what you do? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. At and the it's BTM with, it, you know, I'll put my business out there. You'll see me in these streets. Hey, man, Spice going to invite it to the lounge, yo. Stay yeah. tuned for the we, next... We're going to bring it to the lounge. That's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, it is. Already. <laughs> Behind the mask.